try. So, Denial lose in round 11 to Automatic Reload. They pick up that game. It's uh, somewhat surprising. Um, the only game really which caught me off guard in those 7 p.m. games. Everything else kind of went how expected. But this one, uh, TCM versus Justice. Uh, game one, Justice win after TCM had a huge lead. They threw the game away. Merc went 16 and 34. And Justice still somehow won, Max. That that's that, that shouldn't happen. It really shouldn't. No, it shouldn't. I mean, a really unexplainable what happened on TCM's side right there. I mean, I think Study went 30 and 31 as well with 13 caps. So when you have a player on during hardpoint who usually has that amount of caps, at least double digits, you know that they're not really controlling the hell all that well. Right. The fact that, you know, the hill's juggling so much, players are getting double digit caps, but I mean, still, and, and a player going 16 and 34, it, it, I don't even have words, man. I can't, can't, can't tell you how and bad the it is. Win the game as well. that, that's, a, that's the thing. They, they managed to win the game during that is, yeah, it's interesting. This 2v2 though, in round number two, worth mentioning, uh, shout out to Max, doesn't have the DLC. Good job. Why are you going to put me on blast like that? You got the DLC, man. What do you want me to do? Uh, you're going to have to do what Chance did in the 2K final. Watch your stream. Give me some analysis on some of the rounds because that's about, about it, really. That's all you can do. Yep. Uh, Moose left in a 1 versus 2. Obviously, Drift, Search and Destroy. If you don't have the DLC, Max, have you seen much of Drift? Or, like, yeah. watch it? Or, or like, how how is your knowledge of Drift? I mean, I watched it during Champs, obviously. Oh, um, yeah. And I think the map plays kind of well uh, from what I've seen. Uh, obviously, I've never played it myself, but I mean, I, I, as far as the way the map is laid out, the three lanes, it's mm -hmm. it's a traditional looking, you know, competitive Call of Duty map. No. Right. Fair enough. Um, I'm not a fan. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, you're a hater. I'm a participator. I play the map. <laughs> I didn't even play it. Got him. Anyway, one one. Uh, see, I'm not going to be able to clutch up that round. So, justice to pick up round number. Well, that first round, round number two. Going into round number three. Let's see if anyone's going to snipe on the defensive side of the break. There is. It's going to be Jud who misses a shot, sadly. Not able to get that first blood, but he's going to challenge again. This is the second shot. And I don't think that play from Justice is going to challenge Jud a third time. That would be a little bit overzealous. I believe Octane appears all the way back down that alleyway. And Jud should see him any second now. There's going to be two players. Jud's going to be a little aggressive with the sniper rifle. He's going to see it now. Uh, that's a nice little spot Jud has for the sniper. Just peeking up and down, but again, two players going to be over there. Jud sees him now. Not able to pick up that kill, though. So still, everyone alive with 52 seconds left. And as I say, that Moostra's first blood. Jud has to know all these players are pushing towards him, and he's going to wisely back off, wait for some teammate support to come in. They've lost complete control of that A-bomb site, but that's okay. They should be able to retake that with ease, but Merc picks himself up a kill, as does Study. So now, two versus three. However, in goes Jud, he drops a Moose. One on three now. Max not looking good, he's riding the carousel. <laughs> Jumps straight in towards the site, picks up one. But I mean, a 1v2, bomb down, only has 34 seconds left to go, Max. This is not looking good. Oh, quite unfortunate. I mean, TCM really need to win this S&D. If they go down 0-2 to Justice here, it's going to be really hard, especially depending on if game three is uplink. And, you know, we know that EU teams are significantly bad mm. at uplink. So. <laughs> I mean, they played <laughs> really well at uplink yesterday. I believe it was like a 17-1 performance. From something TCM? Yeah, something absurd. Oh, well, you know, once in a blue moon, they can win a game. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> once I mean, in a blue moon, says Max. Once yeah, once in a, in a blue, blue moon, moon, they can, they can uh, they'll win an uplink game. But, I mean, still. They, they need to win this S&D. Well, going into the next round here. And it's going to be 2-1 lead in favor of Justice and Search. Looking at Moose on the attacking side. See the defensive side. We watched uh, TCM on the defensive. We'll see Justice. They actually get first blood. That's TCM who picks off Gunchi. As Jerd replies with a pick. Looking at TCM's perspective. Not going to see anything though. As of yet. Um... Oh, oh, Jud. Oh, I'm not sure if Jud saw that. I think maybe he did. Is he using stock? He is. He's using a stock on the sniper rifle. What's your thoughts on that, Max? A stock on the sniper rifle? Yes. 
Uh, that's strange. I mean, I don't really see why you would need to use it. I mean, you're not really... The fact that the EXO ability and, like, movement Ooh. of the game gives you enough movement if you're a sniper rifle, if you're, you know, using a sniper. Right. So, I don't really know why you would waste a point on a stock. So. Judd's had, like, three hit markers this round. I feel so bad for him. Still a 3v3. 25 seconds left. And TCM spring into action. Judd able to shut down TCM from behind. And he will be able to get this plant off. Meanwhile, big gunfight going on the other side of the map. It's actually going to be won by Octane. And as Bomb goes down, Octane's looking at that back exit. Should see... Oh, <laughs> I thought Judd was going to actually dash out that window, but didn't. And now in come the boys on just this study. He's going to see one. Why are you just lying there? Basically just giving away a free kill. And study waiting to see where this last player is. It's Shane. He's in a 1v2. 24 seconds left. Peeks out. Picks up one. Expects the second play from Justice to run at him. 20 seconds left. Time is ticking. Shane playing this one pretty well. Player down beneath him. Shane picks up the kill with a, just a few bullets. Levels up the SMD 2-2. I saw that hit marker that Jerd got on the player behind the B-bomb site. That's so frustrating. That was such a nice shot, too. I mean, can't believe you got a hit marker on that one. Very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Hit markers on hit markers on hit markers. Hit markers um, on hit markers. Mark at one and four. Sign no surprise spot. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm oh. sorry. Max is out here throwing <laughs> That's crazy. I'm just joking. Who doesn't love Joey DeLuca? Yeah, I'm telling Mark you were roasting him, man. Oh, don't tell him that. No. Yep. <laughs> tell him you were being really mean. And quite frankly, disrespectful. Uh, Merc at 1 4, though, um, does really need to step things up. He's going to be carrying the bomb for justice this round. First blood goes in favor of TCM. As. Did Merc just see him? Well, he's going to see him now. Fire some shots. Gets the kill. Nice play, Merc. Loves it up at three versus three situation. You can see one player in the form of Shane. Which able to get the map. This is a snipe shot. <laughs> Playing with fire a little bit as he tries to dash away, but managed to dodge a sniper bullet of his own. As now bomb should be being planted. Someone's going to challenge. It's going to be Gunchy. Gunchy's going to get flooded with players. He drops two v three, one v three, all down to Jud as PCM picks up a nice two piece. The only thing Jud has going for him is he is on the flank. Bomb's going to be being planted, Jud. Has to know it, but he isn't going to check. Now he checks. Doesn't connect with the shots. Bomb goes. Oh, yep. There it is. Bomb finally goes. Oh, wow. Just wow. Don't know what to say about that, to be honest. Justice go 3-2 up. You'll you'll see it. And when you see yeah. it, it's going gonna, gonna to upset you. I, I think I'm just going to buy the map pack. Honestly, I think you should. I think I'm going to buy both map packs. Because I really want to play that one map that uh, Proofy World Star Demarius Thomas on. <laughs> What's that? Perplex? Is that the name of the map? Right? Yes. I think it's Perplex, yeah. The uh, Sydney Australia map, right? Yeah. I would love to see that map. Yeah, if Proofy was, threw the drone at like Damaris. A... Damaris called the drone. Next thing you know, Proofy's in mid-ass stomping on Damaris's face. <laughs> and Fwiz is just saying, why did he do that? <laughs> yeah, Fwiz had no idea what was going on. Like, he, he literally didn't understand what happened. Um, which it's made it just, it made it even funnier, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, Jed with the bomb. Again, gonna go for that snipe. Um, I'm still looking at Jud's class and kind of surprised. Obviously, no exo ability. Can he try and get a pick? Shane's going to get first blood. And this round's pretty big for TCM. They don't want to go down four rounds to two. Yeah, no. Dude, that's a nasty spot, dude. Dude, that is a really nasty spot Jud was in. Did not know you could get up there. Gonna do it again? Oh no, I thought he was gonna do it again. Oh, maybe he's gonna do it again. Nope. Good more than happy to just make his way over towards B. It was a 1v3. No one clutching that one up. So the game tied at 3 3 now. And uh, this one, very even, Max. I'm surprised. I thought this would be a map where Justice would actually be able to take this relatively simply in search and destroy. I'm really interested to know how much Merc. Has uh you know attributed to um, Justice's overall S and D play. 
I wouldn't know Mook's how a, much. Mook's a really talented strategy was. player. You know, uh, he's been around obviously for a very long time. Played, teamed with the likes of players like Ray Rambo, of course, who goes down as one of the smartest players to the Great Squad. So definitely knows a thing or two. Mook, uh, first blood already going in favor of this Justice Squad. Looking to see if they can pick up the second kill, but Shane replies with a sniper rifle pick on Octane. Makes it a 3v3, but TCM has complete control of Justice Base. Merc able to pick up Shane. TCM still alive. Pushing the back of TCM's base. Basically has Gunchy pinned. Gunchy's gonna go for the challenge. TCM turns around, picks up the kill. Moose now for a 1v3. This is almost not gonna happen. 50 seconds left, challenges the first player, picks up the kill. Now 1v2, he's one shot though. Extremely one shot, absolutely one shot. However, the kill comes in, Justice go 4-3. Uh, Max, if you have to bet, who wins this one? Justice are up 4-3? Yep. Justice wins 6-3. I'm going to say that right now. I'm going to bet. Wins. Even though it's been back bet. and forth in rounds? Your predictions are out there, dude. Dude, I'm going to bet you... What do you want? Uh, but I want I want some CSGO skins. Okay. I bet you three counter strike knives. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I mean, Justice, like I said, they, they've been trading rounds back and forth, like you said, but I mean, I just expect them to just close out these two, get the business done, nah. and go on to game three. TCM wins this round. It's going to go back and forth to round 11, and it's just going to come down to who has that attacking side, I think. Um, maybe wrong, but that's kind of how we've seen Drift play out mostly in the Pro League, is just kind of back and forth games. Um, just as I say that though, TCM from Justice actually gets a pick. Moose is actually going to be left in a 1v3. Let me find out Max is a wizard, ladies and oh. gentlemen. Moose for a one on three, bomb down in a horrible position. He's going to have to track all the way back. Justice seemed to know about it. Sees the first player, doesn't get the shots. And well, that just kind of sums up TCM's day. Time is ticking. Challenges again. Still can't pick up the kill. More hit markers go down. Challenges for the third time. More hit markers. Still can't get the kill. Finally, he falls. And uh, Max, you could be a wizard, my friend, because it's 5 3 now in favor of Justice. Uh, more like a grand wizard. You know, one of those grand high elder wizard. wizards. I, I reign over Matt for sure, because Matt's wizardry skills are. Not... All right, I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> How bad would it be if TCM get 3 0'd again? Your own 6 today. I mean, a three three zero by phase, kind of understandable. Phase of, you know, been on a bit of a hot streak with the new roster. Three zero by Justice. Prayers, Ben. Prayers. Hmm. Look, gonna be carrying the bomb, and it looks like he's just gonna go for a very quick plant. TCM cannot allow him to do it. Already a trade goes in. It's a three versus three. Merc is forty five percent. He's gonna get that bomb down. That's huge for Justice. As well, they were able to win those gunfights on the site. That leaves Shane and Jerd in a 2v3. And, well, he's seen everyone from Justice flee to the other side of the map. There's a player in that spot we saw Jerd in earlier on. I believe that's actually Study. And we'll see what Study sees from here. Does he see Shane? Oh, he does. Study is just stalking the enemy, lining up the shot. Picks up the first kill. <laughs> that was so nice from Study. Leaves Shane in a 1v3. He's not going to clutch that. Hit marker, that was unfortunate. But 12 seconds left. Has no choice. Needs to go on the bump. Tagged up from the side. Max is a wizard, ladies and gentlemen. Justice win 6-3. And Justice go 2-0 up against TCM. Uh, Rise is also 1-0 up against Team Caliber. For now, though, quick commercial break. When we return, more action live from the Pro League.